this is definitely very exciting. This has been in the works for over 10 years. This, actually, the, the predecessor of uh, Hui Tian is actually older than x itself. Uh, but we obviously acquired uh, the, uh, the the investment in 2020, and now it's an affiliate company of x uh, We actually are trying to uh, debut the first model, which we call the detached design. It, was, it will be a very beautifully designed, I would say, you can imagine like a truck or six-wheeler uh, that can house a flying device inside the vehicle. That actually can be detached automatically and have two person flow you know, automatically or manually using battery power. And the range could be 20 to 30 kilometers. And we actually intend to focus on the consumer segment for the use of this flying you know, uh, drone as well as the detached vehicles. So this is something we aim to launch pre-orders by the end of this year. And we hope by 2026 we'll be, have actually delivery to the end customers. And the reason we are confident is because we are designing this for the use not in urban centers, but for outskirts in scenic areas where there will be, you know, we'll work with municipalities to create flying parks and flying zones that allow people to enjoy flying without the hassle of getting all the complicated approvals. So will we have to get a, a special license to be able to drive this? And the regulation, the Civil Aviation Administration must be in, working on this to get this to be able to be sold commercially. So the intent to use case does not require special license. So with a driver's license, you could drive the detached vehicle and the flying with it, you don't need special license for it because we are using, like I said, leisure and sports related sort of uh, uh, use cases for the initial use of that flying device. but. As you move into uh, more closer to urban population centers, you do need special licenses, and that would be a lot more complicated to get approval for. This car can fly for 25 minutes with a maximum speed of around 80 miles per hour. That's according to Chinese EV maker Xpeng's affiliate, Xpeng Aero HT. The company flew its latest experimental drone car during a short test on Tuesday. It aims to demonstrate what the future of transportation could look like in China. As people looked on, the two-seater EV, called the Voyager X2, performed a vertical takeoff and landing in the Hebei province. Aero HT said test flights do not involve passengers sitting in the car. A flight engineer at the company said the public response has been really positive. Our product can operate both autonomously and manually. It is very simple to operate. Even for a beginner, after about an hour of training, you should have a grasp of the basic controls aboard the aircraft. So our autopilot feature requires no manual operation, which eliminates the traditional learning curve associated with conventional aircraft because a conventional aircraft typically requires extensive hands-on training. The model is intended for short trips within a city area, and the company says it does not emit any carbon dioxide during flight. As for whether it would be available to buy, Aero HT said the X2 is an iterative product. The unveiling of Spank Aeros, flying car in China, has sent shockwaves through global technology sectors, provoking heated debates about the US's lag in futuristic transportation. Critics argue that while China soars ahead, the U.S. remains entangled in outdated policies and bureaucratic red tape, stifling innovation and leaving its aerospace industry in the dust. This stark contrast highlights not just a technological gap, but a growing geopolitical rift, challenging the very core of American competitiveness. Stay with us till the end to explore the depths of this controversy. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Check YouTube channel where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you're new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. The advent of flying cars in China has stirred discussions globally, particularly in the U.S., where the rapid advancements in technology by Chinese companies are closely monitored. Xpeng Aeroth, an affiliate of the Chinese Eve maker Xpeng, recently showcased its experimental drone car in a short test flight, symbolizing a potential shift in urban transportation. This development aligns with Beijing's strategic vision, encapsulated in the draft action plan, titled Beijing Promotes the High-Quality Development 
of the low altitude economy industry, NE24-2027. The plan focuses on establishing Beijing as a pioneering hub for the low altitude economy, emphasizing innovations such as flying cars for intercity and inner city travel. This initiative reflects a broader ambition to integrate cutting edge technology into everyday life, enhancing connectivity and efficiency. Speng Era, originally high tech, was founded in 2013 by Zhao Delai, with backing from Xpeng CEO He Yi Since then, the company has made significant strides, rebranding as Arot and launching its first-generation flying car in 2016. By 2020, the firm introduced its fifth-generation model and completed a substantial series, a financing round in 2021, raising over $500 million USD, showcasing the strong investor confidence in this burgeoning industry. The X2, a flagship model boasts a flight endurance of 25 minutes and has undergone nearly 4,000 test flights in various challenging environments, including urban landscapes, coastal areas, and deserts. The company plans to introduce an extended range version with a larger battery, aiming for market availability in the coming years. Meanwhile, the land carrier, a drone-type vehicle, is set for production in 2025, signaling Xpeng's commitment to pioneering advanced transportation solutions. As these technological advancements unfold in China, the U.S. watches, with a mixture of awe and apprehension, the rapid development of flying cars represents both an opportunity and a challenge, prompting reflections on domestic policies and innovation strategies. The dialogue between technological progress and geopolitical considerations continues to shape the narrative surrounding these emerging technologies. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe Share the video and comment. The impressive strides made by Chinese companies like Xpeng Aero highlight a significant moment in technological innovation. The U.S., known for its robust aerospace industry, now faces a new frontier as these advancements unfold in China. This situation not only underscores the competitive nature of global technology development, but also sparks debates about regulatory frameworks and collaboration Flying cars offer a glimpse into a future where transportation transcends traditional concerns. The integration of such vehicles into everyday life could revolutionize how people commute, reducing congestion and providing new avenues for travel. However, the implementation of this technology requires careful consideration of air traffic management, safety standards, and infrastructure development. The broader implications of this technological race extend beyond transportation. The geopolitical landscape is intricately tied to technological supremacy, with each advancement influencing international relations and economic dynamics. In the case of flying cars, China's proactive approach to fostering innovation in the low-altitude economy highlights its commitment to becoming a leader in this emerging field. As the U.S. observes these developments, there is a growing recognition of the need to adapt and innovate. The dialogue around AI automation and advanced mobility solutions becomes increasingly relevant, prompting policymakers and industry leaders to strategize on fostering domestic innovation while navigating the complexities of international competition. The emergence of flying cars in China serves as a catalyst for broader discussions on the future of technology and its impact on society as these advancements continue to capture global attention. The interplay between innovation policy and geopolitics remains a central theme in shaping the narrative of modern technological progress. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this videos showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.